Hi guys, I'm Shmi and welcome to day 15 of the Where's Shmi Tour. Today is the first day of the Top Marks Monaco show. So we're going to go inside and have a look. Here we are inside the Top Marks 2014 Exhibition Hall. We're going to go on a whistle stop tour, see everything that's on display at this year's show. And immediately at the front, as always, we're greeted with the Pagani wire. Pagani always gets a centre stage stand, which is very, very neat. The wire looks very good in this red and carbon combo. Brand. You get lots of sort of other luxury goods, pool tables, bikes and things on display at Top Marks. But uh, next up we're at the AAA sport car rental stand who work with Mansori. We're going to have a look at their Mansori Syracuse 458 outside. But here we have the Bugatti Veyron Vivere, which uh, is I think the seventh Mansori car that's been made. It's cool to see that again here after Geneva. Then we have the Carbonado GT, full carbon, very distinct weave on this car. Very cool. That's very nice. And the Rolls Royce Wraith we also saw at Geneva this year, followed by the new Range Rover Sport. Not a bad showing from Mansori this year's show. So this is where I'm going to whistle stop around, try and get past everything. This looks like some very fancy tables and chairs, bicycles, a whole load of motorbikes. I should probably mention Lexus Monaco. Supercars in there. That sounds like a V10. Lamborghini or R8, who knows. Uh, if we come around here, we've got a DMC Aventador. Be taking plenty of luck at those a little bit later. Then we have the Giugiaro concept. So that's interesting actually because Audi released the Nanook concept at Frankfurt last year, which was based on that. This is the older one. I haven't seen it a few times before. Then where are we? Mazanti Road Test 01. I'm not sure I've seen this before. Interesting car. Of this kind of thing here, Monaco. Incredibly neatly arranged luxury story, luxury travel. And we have Quant Nano Flow Cell, so I'm assuming this is a bit of a hybrid from an EV car. Looks quite large, interesting concept to see here though. And we'll wing on around this way. Another DMC from Low, No Limit Customs. This is the DMC 458 Estremo. It's been driving around and it makes a hell of a noise. Carbon and matte red. Swing around this way, we have regular exclusive. R8, I assume V10 Spider. Not entirely sure. And the KN and then the Wow, that was a bike firing up. At the back we have an Acrophobic SLS. That made me jump. But it's an Estremo bike to match the 458. Yeah, I'm not supposed to run cars in here. <laughs> then we have the Zenvo ST1 in brown. It's a new one, I've seen this car before. Not a bad look. What else do we have? That's a Jag on the Visage Group, not quite sure what they do. Then we have the David Brown Speedback. This was unveiled just last week in the UK, basically a modern take on the classic Aston, which is quite cool. We come around, Gregory's cars, dealerships, quite a few dealerships, sort of side of things around. So we've got 650S, Vanquish at the back, DB9 Volante, Corvette Speciale and FF just up there. But that's pretty much the stuff you know and see a lot. We looked at that 650S at the dealer the other day. And here we have the Lycan Hypersport. I saw the unveiling of this car from W Motors at um, the Dubai Motor Show last year. Uh, it's cool to see it again. Let's just say when it comes to the price tag, this thing is very, very expensive. I don't remember exactly, but we're talking the three, four, five million dollars region. Which it is cool. It certainly has the looks to kill a far hypercar, doesn't it? So that's very nice. Then here we have a 911 Turbo. Then we have, I'm not even sure exactly what this car is. Um, interesting take on things. The doors, the front look. Wowzers. And is that brown carbon fiber? No, it's just uh, metallic paint. Uh, that's a 
quite crazy. Then we have a twisted Defender, twisted a lot to do with Gumball. They did the Gumball last year with a couple of cars, which is cool. Here we have the Noble N600 Carbon Sport. Noble make, always make an appearance at Top Marks, and I think they have their other car doing the test drives outside as well. So I think the last stand, more or less, is the Haman stand with the M6 and the X5. And that's pretty much us covered. Uh, I suppose Tesla Model S at the back there. And well, that's quite nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, so that's just about it though for here in uh, Top Marks Monaco 2014. So there is the test drive pit outside, which is quite fun. I'm going to go and see some of the cars out there. It's going to be recognisable filming. Um, so we're going to be doing some videos with some of the cars and um, seeing uh, what's going on around town. So there's a long day ahead, lots of cars to see and, do and play around with maybe. But I'm looking forward to it. And I realised I missed the Tushek Renovatio. Let's have a quick look at that. Looks good in the other. Out in the test drive pit then, and we'll just have a quick look at the cars on display here. First up, we've got the Haman Mission M5. Interesting wrap with the Fredestein logos. Then we've got a Weizmann. Next up, we've got the Monstraka GTR. Then we have the Zenvo ST1. It's going to be interesting seeing that driving around. It's pretty good in the orange. And then a Maserati MC Stradale. But we'll just pop around to the cars on the outside. First up, we've got the Haman Nervudo Aventador. Saw that yesterday. So we'll get a full look at the car. Alongside that, we've got the Tesla Model S. The Noble M600. This orange car is here on a yearly basis. The Akapovic BMW 1M. Ferrari 458 Syracuse from Mansori. Followed by the, I think it's the Gronos G Wagon. So there's a pretty good lineup of cars here at the test drive pit at Top Marks 2014. So I'm looking forward to doing some videos, certainly with the Syracuse, hopefully with the uh, Mission. Then uh, the uh, Tesla we're going to try, I've never tried a Tesla. And the Hamon Nabudo, maybe even the Zenbo too, but we'll, we'll see what's coming. So some videos today, some tomorrow. Um, lots to do, but let's go see what I go out in first. for a ride in some of the cars then but we also have a few more that have rocked up here in Monaco so we have the Gembala SLR here just whizz around this way oh nice Aston Martin Vantage V8 brown very unusual on that side Lamborghini Performante uh, just beyond the uh, SLR well first 599 but if I just come around here R8 GT Spider at the end is the Mistral, the one we saw at Gembala when I was visiting there last week. So that's pretty cool to see that again. Here, finished, completed. I'm gonna look at that in a little bit more detail now, take it out, maybe go for a little drive. Uh, so that's very cool. Um, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. I'm feeling a little bit sunburned, um, but there's gonna be a lot more to do. Might go for a drive in the McLaren, still in the garage at the moment. Um, see what else is up, but uh, it should be a pretty good day here in Monaco. It's starting to get a lot of car spotters around, a lot of people looking at the cars. Top marks was good, of course. I think uh, it's going to be a good evening ahead of us. I think I already told you that Monaco was going to be pretty busy this week, and this pretty much sums it up. Fairmont hairpin and traffic basically complete standstill going on here. Um, it is the ATP tennis, Top marks Monaco, it's Easter weekend. Both the Gran Turismo and the Gran Caprio going up there. And the Gambala cars you can see just down there in the Fairmont. But the entire town basically looks a little bit like this. Nobody is going anywhere. And it's all a little bit of 
a mess. Not a bad day so far then. We had that shoot this evening with the two Gambala cars, the Mistral and the SLR, so that's been pretty awesome. We're now out doing another shoot on Deeg, the harbour out here, with a whole bunch of cars. So we've got the uh, Bentley, McLaren, C63, S5, 8C. Good fun, good fun. Saw the LaFerrari again, of course. Plenty more cars driving around. I'm just standing here, can hear cars blasting through the Formula One tunnel over there which is really quite cool. Um, need to go get some dinner, then a bit more, maybe go to a bar, but see what cars are around because it's nighttime in Monaco again and the cars just don't seem to hide. I've heard there's a Veyron up in Casino right now, which unfortunately is up there somewhere. Yeah, there, that's the casino. <laughs> Hiding up there, so maybe I'll see that later. We'll find out now. So it's got pretty chilly in Monaco tonight, but popped into Casino Square just to see what's about. And Zenvo have bought the orange ST1 up here. Looks good, although it's sandwiched between two Ferrari 458s. Should probably bring the 12C up and park next to them, but I think I'll give it a miss today. Loads of nice cars. Phantom Coupe over there. Cantador over the back there. This one. Oh, you just heard the event. So there's a Gallardo down here, DBS. Custom Porsche Cayman. See if the Aventador's about to drive round. All the way on there is the Novatec Torado. So here's the Torado up at the top, the one I saw at Novatec the other day. You might well have seen that. Just whizzed down the line though, because there's a bunch of other nice cars that have turned up. Got prior design stuff C63. All right, Spider. All right, Coop. Yeah. 663 Coop. Just cruising around down there. Is that a Ferrari F12? That's Monaco for years now. I'm sort of just rushing past the stuff like Rolls Royces and Gran Turismo's. More prior design. M6s. Yeah, there's the F12. Oh, and obviously the uh, drop head. Thought it was a coupe, but it's definitely not. That's the drop head. But I have actually just got word of where this Veyron might be, so I'm on my way to have a look. Found it. Bugatti Veyron, first thing. And a whole lot of people taking photos. Comes with the territory, really. It's a Vanquish, a Wraith, a Veyron, Gran Turismo, Ghibli. Just the other side, there's an F12 as well. 599 here. Supercars everywhere. Now oh, another one, another 599 just cruising around, as they do. And another day in Monaco comes to the end. It's been a pretty good one though, loads of cars about, LaFerrari driving around a few times, Veyron had some fun too, some good video shoots at Top Marks. Gonna be heading back again tomorrow to check out some stuff. And we also have another Schmeeting tomorrow. We're gonna meet at the lower deck just near Grimaldi Forum. We've had to move because the original place we're gonna do it was uh, is closed for construction. So we're gonna move over just 50 meters up from the Grimaldi Forum here in Monaco. Um, to the new place where some of the Top Marks cars are set out. So I'll put some info about that online. Make sure you check it out if you're coming along, if you're in Monaco. But um, yeah, pretty good date. Looking forward to tomorrow. A couple more shoots maybe. Maybe some other stuff. We'll see what's going on really. But thank you very much for watching. 
Day 15 over, looking forward to day 16. That's it for right now, I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers. The start of the 2014 Wesh Me Euro Tour. There is an epic adventure ahead of me.